<laughs> Hi, I'm Daryl from Modern Work Mentor with another Modern Work Workout. This workout is for people using OneDrive and syncing files. You're confident in using OneDrive in Files Explorer. And now you want to go to the next level, syncing your files on demand, using shortcuts to jump to all the places where you work with files across Microsoft 365. The workout will introduce you to two exercises to get you in shape with working with files in Microsoft 365. We're going to learn how to synchronize a folder from a team in Microsoft Teams, and then we'll learn about adding shortcuts to a folder and how to use it to sync our files on demand. For this workout, you'll need Files Explorer, Microsoft Teams, and be prepared to use OneDrive from a web browser. Our first exercise begins with Microsoft Teams on your desktop. Open a team that you frequently use to work on files with your team. Open the Files tab and navigate to a folder and the files that you currently work on. Wouldn't it be great if these files were easy to access right from within Files Explorer? We can, using Sync. Click Sync in the toolbar above Files. Teams pops up a message to confirm the files in this folder will be synced. It connects OneDrive on your device to the folders that you chose to sync. If you're using Microsoft Windows, it will open Files Explorer to show the files. They're ready to be synced on demand. Now what do I mean by synced on demand? Well, OneDrive downloads a file to your device the first time you open it. Following that, the file syncs any changes that you make to the local copy into OneDrive in Microsoft 365. Now take a closer look at where those folders were synced in File Explorer. The navigation panel will show a folder with a blue icon, and it's named after your organization. That's where you're going to find folders that you choose to sync. Now our second exercise introduces a different way to organize and sync files using shortcuts. Open another team that you frequently use to work on files with your team. Open a file tab and navigate to another folder containing files that you're currently working on. This time, from the toolbar, choose Add Shortcut to OneDrive. Teams will confirm that it has added one shortcut to My Files in OneDrive. My Files is where your private files are stored in OneDrive Online. On your device, in Files Explorer, you'll find My Files in a folder named OneDrive, followed by your organization's name. When you open a shortcut, it jumps to that folder in the team files, letting you quickly navigate to the files. When you open a file, it downloads a copy to your device and keeps it in sync with the online copy, just like with synced folders. Shortcut folders use a different icon to regular folders. They can be renamed, they can be grouped together in folders in your OneDrive. Try creating a folder with the same name as the team that the shortcut points to. Then move the shortcut into the folder. You can create other shortcuts to folders from the same team and then organize them in the same folder to group them together. The final thing that I want you to do is start to build some confidence using OneDrive in a web browser. Don't be afraid of this. To open OneDrive on the web, browse to m365.cloud.microsoft. Sign in if you're prompted to. Then open the app launcher um, and choose OneDrive. The landing page will show files that you've been recently working on. I want you to take note of My Files in the left navigation. Open My Files and you'll see the same folders, files and shortcuts that you saw in OneDrive from your Files Explorer. Now there are many benefits to using OneDrive from a web browser beyond just working with My Files. Using shortcuts is a good way to bridge working with files on your device with the files in a web browser. That's it. We've completed two exercises to strengthen our file management muscles using OneDrive. We've seen that OneDrive is more than a place for storing our private files. We can use it to work with our team files too, syncing them on demand and creating shortcuts to files when we want to focus on them. In the next workout, we'll push ourselves further out of our comfort zone, working with OneDrive in a web browser more and realizing more of its benefits to personal and team productivity. Get this video ad-free and the companion workout card. 
download them to share with your team in your organization. There's no per user license. Visit the link in the description to learn more.